in this lesson we are going to learn about ductile brittle and malleable materials what are ductile materials ductile materials can be drawn into thin wires they have a large range of plastic extensions copper silver iron aluminum all are ductile materials they can be drawn into thin wires if you look at the stress strain graph for ductile materials this is stress this is strain then initially the proportional up to proportional limit stress will be proportional strain then up to elastic limit if we remove the deforming force the material will come back to its original length after this the plastic range of extension starts right and that is very big for this kind of material it reaches a fracture point after a long distance here so this is what is a ductile material it has got a large range of plastic extension example is copper silver iron aluminum you can draw it into thin wires right what are brittle materials brittle materials have got a very small range of plastic extensions they break as soon as the elastic limit is exceeded so if you make the stress strain graph of brittle materials as soon as the elastic limit is exceeded this material fractures so this is the elastic limit and then here we'll have the fracture point so these things very have got a very small range of plastic extensions example are cast iron glass ceramics these are brittle materials so here is the fracture point very close to elastic limit which may be here or may be here so this is the elastic limit i they can draw draw them into thin wires because they break as soon as the elastic limit is exceeded this one the elastic limit is here here is the proportional limit and you can extend it quite a big distance or quite a big length right so therefore we can draw it into thin wires these are ductile materials now some materials we can beat them down to thin sheets those are known as malleable materials gold is a malleable material silver is a malleable material lead is a malleable material so these three kinds of materials you should know first one is ductile materials ductile materials can be drawn into thin wires right can be drawn into thin wires and they are example is copper silver iron aluminum they have got a large range of plastic extensions brittle materials break as soon as the elastic limit is exceeded they cannot be drawn into thin wires example is cast iron glass and ceramics some materials can be beaten down into thin sheets those are known as malleable materials example is gold silver lead etc metals have got large young's modulus to get a small strain if you have to apply a large force a large stress then the young's modulus is large in the language of physics steel is more elastic than copper glass aluminum rubber also rubber is an elastomer but steel is more elastic steel has got higher young's modulus material like wood bone concrete glass have got small young's modulus if there are two materials and you want the same strain the material which requires more force will have more elasticity so remember that steel is more elastic than copper plus aluminum that's why it is used in making heavy duty machines and other objects structures right